All right, dear viewer, finally the day that you've been waiting for, the 20th Plenary Assembly of AMSA is here and we are right here at Benjamin Mkapa Stadium in the Catholic Archdiocese of uh, Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Now I am joined uh, by the pastoral coordinator of the AMSA region. We just wish to know from him what are the expectations for the day and how are the preparations for this day, a day that uh, most of us have been looking for uh, different representatives from uh, the different countries, uh, uh, MSA member countries uh, and MSA partners, uh, lay faithfuls as well as religious, both male and female. So welcome Father. Thank you. How, uh, please tell us how does it feel finally to have this day and what are your expectations for the day? I feel really overjoyed mm -hmm. uh, that we have now reached the climax mm -hmm. of the celebration. Mm -hmm. um, the preparation began as early as 2018 mm -hmm. in Addis Ababa mm -hmm. when we had the last plenary assembly. Mm -hmm. This plenary assembly takes place every four years. Mm -hmm. So when we had the last plenary in Addis Ababa, the bishops within the Messiah region agreed that the next one should take place in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And already from there, we began preparations, uh, mobilizing resources, mm -hmm but also uh, bringing advocacy on what the next theme ought to be. So we settled on um, uh, integral human development uh, based on Laudato Si, so that we come together as a nation, having been invited by the Holy Father to reflect on how um, issues of environment are being taken care of within the region. Then from there, we tasked Tanzania to start organizing as the host country. And our role as a MSA was to mobilize the different countries, all together nine that are within the region, to start mobilizing resources, making preparations, and encouraging people to come in their large numbers, as we have done today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what are your expectations for the day and uh, who, which country, are all the countries represented including the affiliate, the two affiliate countries of Amesea? All countries that uh, make part of uh, Amesea region are represented. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Tanzania, the hosting country, mm -hmm. we have Kenya, we have Ethiopia, we have Eritrea, we have Uganda, Malawi, Zambia, Sudan and South Sudan. Then also Djibouti and Somalia as affiliate countries are also represented by the bishop who represents both countries. Then apart from that we invited also the uh, partners. So we have representatives from uh, donor partners like uh, America, uh, um, uh, Germany, Monsieur Aachen and uh, Monsieur Munich. Uh, and other partners that have been supporting us to showcase the occasion. Then, in addition to that, we have also invited other organizations, including the affiliate universities uh, that are connected with the uh, Amesea Secretariat. So all vice chancellors from the Catholic universities that make up the uh, Amesea region are also represented here. Thank you very much, uh, Father Chimomba. Now, uh, this day, uh, the days or uh, this event will culminate uh, next Sunday with the closing uh, mass. What is the overall expectation at the end of uh, the, all the events that have been prepared to happen? The, ex the expectation is that, uh, no, Laudato Si, as an encyclical that was written by the Holy Father, was written as a document. But the expectation is that it has to be lived by people. And then people can only live it if they own it. So our intention is that after we have discussed and agreed, everybody will have a take home on what exactly they are going to do to live the Laudato Si. In this, we'll expect like education um, institutions to say how will they implement issues of environment in order to promote um, environment through education. And then the pastoral sector would want the bishops, the priests, the religious, the laity to join hands so that every other day they talk about environment and then think of ways and means of promoting environment in their own sector. So we want it to be a lived document 
are not necessarily just on paper, but a document that is now be lived on daily basis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, dear viewer, we are about to get hold of uh, the Archbishop, the President of uh, Tanzania Episcopal Conference. Let's get to hear what does he have to tell us concerning these activities and this inaugural day of uh, the 20th plenary session of Amisir. All right, here we are with the most reverend Jervas John Mwasi Kwabila Nyaisonga, the president of uh, the, uh, the Archbishop of Mbeya and president of the Tanzania Episcopal Conferences. I greet you, most reverend. So, right, tell us today about today, what are the expectations for the day? Today being the fourth uh, time that uh, we, we are hosting a Messier plenary assembly in Tanzania. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Uh, to respond to your question, I would like to say that uh, normally when we meet as a messiah, we have an agenda. And our agenda normally is meaning to, to promote what is ideal, accepted, ideally accepted among the people. So in this time, when we are meeting in this plenary, our theme is on environment. And uh, we, are, we are coming to this theme because already the Holy Father has said so strongly about the need for each one of us to be responsible for environmental care. He said it in 2015. But as you see, not all people are supporting his call. Some are resisting against his call because they think if to, to, to care for environment, they are, they, are, they are losing their economic, economic benefits. But as the church, we think what the Holy Father has said is our responsibility to say it loudly, strongly enough. Because, because when our environment is at stake, actually we are we are tending to a dangerous situation for everybody in the world, in the earth. So what is the most dire issues that, that cut across uh, the Amisea region in as far as uh, environment and integral human development is concerned? Yes, picking from the researchers, and some people will be presenting in the plenary, mm -hmm. there is still a wide-scale expansion of desertification. Mm -hmm. Desert is expanding, and um, loss of water is still going on water amount amount of water which is so important vital for human beings is getting lower and lower quality of water is also lowering down quality of soil for production of food is also going down our air is getting less less good for people for survival widespread poisoning of the air, of the soil, of water, from resulting from industrial development is still expanding. And there is a wide scale deforestation. You see, all these things, they are making the world turning into a very bad, dangerous condition. That's why this is at stake. That's why we have to, 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 to shout loudly encouraging each one of us to be responsible for the environmental care. All right, thank yeah. you very much. Now, what is this one word you tell both uh, Catholic faithfuls, non-Catholics, what is it that they for the protection or conservation of our common home for both Catholics and non-Catholics? I wish to say, environmental care is a, a cross-cutting issue. Mm -hmm. Being a cross-cutting issue, it is a responsibility of every human being, regardless of the creed, regardless of the professional level. Mm -hmm. Actually, since it is an, a cross-cutting issue, we have a collective responsibility to work together, regardless of our creed, to, to protect our common home. If we share the home, then we, can, we, we have to be disturbed if somebody is misbehaving on the other side of the home. Because of that, I'm calling upon all of the people on earth, whoever, regardless of what business they are doing, an environmental impact assessment should be a priority before we undertake any project.
Thank you very much. Most welcome. All right, now. Okay, that's uh, the president of uh, the Tanzania Episcopal Conference. And uh, uh, we will be updating you and giving you a commentary in English. Remember this March, very soon we shall have the procession that's going to mark the commencement of uh, the Holy Mass, the Eucharistic celebration that uh, will be presided by his eminence Archbishop Emeritus uh, John Njue and I'll be doing the commentary with Sister Helen and we will be updating you of the happenings us and uh, when they unfold. My name is Sasha Elizabeth.